Hey, all right. First one of the day is from Patreon supporter Jermaine Sneed. I was on the Patreon Facebook page and someone posted a rumor that WBDC was thinking of an Aquaman spinoff featuring the Trench. I then had a great back and forth with fellow Patreon Zach, who thinks this would be a terrible financial decision for WBDC as no one knows um, or cares about these third tier antagonists. However... Um, I feel Walter Hamada created a universe with financially successful spinoffs starring Doll and Nun, so... Yeah, so th- these rumors started going around a couple of days ago about, you know, Aquaman, big hit, sitting at $1.1 billion. And, of course, one of the elements in it was the trench and the monsters from the trench. And they are horrifying. I mean, yes. they, they really are. They were in the comic as well, the, it, particularly in the Aquaman New 52. Yep. They were particularly horrifying. They looked horrifying. They looked way more horrifying once everybody went into the water. Once they, there was nightmarish, it was. Mm-hmm. So these rumors have been going around that they're kind of developing a trench movie. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here. Number one, developing doesn't mean much. For every thousand films that get development, one maybe makes it to the screen. So so don't get ahead of yourself a little bit on that. I'll tell you what my initial reaction to this was, Robert. My big thing, one of my biggest complaints, and what I think a lot of people's biggest complaints, of the way Warner Brothers has handled the DC properties in years gone by has been they have been perceived as being completely reactionary. Like totally and completely reactionary to uh to their own plans it's like okay we're gonna do this oh wait this movie didn't make quite as much as we thought quick change everything or let's do this oh this did a little better than we thought change everything and they've been so knee-jerk reactionary that it's been enough to make your head spin with walter hamada coming in i've really had the hope that those days were gone that walter hamada's coming in look it doesn't matter what happened to justice league we're doing this aquaman thing and then we're going to roll into Shazam where we're doing it this way. And we got a vision for more isolated films for now, blah, blah. And then we got Wonder Woman coming and we are not going to be jumped. Hey, Aquaman did better than we thought. Doesn't matter. We're not going to sh- change our plan. Hey, if Shazam stumbles is maybe and maybe a little bit of a flop, which I don't think it will be. But if it was, Walter Hamada is going to keep us cool. And go, Doesn't matter. We've got our plan. We're sticking to our plan. And when I first heard these rumors about them looking at doing a trench movie, that screamed reflex reaction. He said, wait a minute, Aquaman made more than we thought? Well, okay, let's start doing spinoffs and let's start doing it. And, and that bothered me a lot, and it still does. But I will say this. Thinking more about James Wan and what he could do, and thinking back about that environment and what you could do with an environment like that in the hands of somebody like James Wan, I will admit there is something pretty appealing about that. Now, speaking of James Wan... He was asked directly on Twitter, it's like, hey, like, you know, you make these spinoffs of, of, of uh, Annabelle and you make the spinoff of a nun and blah, blah. Well, he got on and James Wan himself addressed these rumors. This is what James Wan had to say. He said, during the early stages of production, I fell in love with the trench and its designs and secretly hoped to explore this world further slash more. Now, I am not confirming or denying this project. So... I mean, let's face it, James, you just did confirm that they're looking at it. If you don't say that, they're not just looking at it. So it sounds like that's what they're doing. Rob, you hear about these rumors and stuff like that. Do you think Warner Brothers should be looking at doing a movie based on the creatures of the trench? Okay. First of all, that was one of my favorite scenes in the whole, in Aquaman. Right. Sea monsters, there's something primal that goes way back in human history about sea monsters. But I was, first of all, like James once said, the design of those creatures is amazing. And what if, like, I thought to myself, where did those creatures come from? Like, who is telling them what to do? They clearly have some kind of a, 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 of a leadership. What if, what if you could do some alien esque body horror movie where these creatures maybe used to be human? And they got infected with some horrible, like whatever it was. And and it, it, look again, it, it has all to do everything to do with the story and the imagination behind it. But I was like, you could do this incredible body horror, ecological. We're polluting the oceans thing, and carry on that ecological message from Aquaman, and really, really make this like this horrifying. Like this is the fate of humanity. We're all going to turn into those trench creatures unless we, <laughs> I, I mean, whatever it is, just make it just disgusting and icky and horrifying and gross and I'm in. 
I'm like, yeah, man, bring it on. And because Annabelle is part of now the, the DC universe, because we saw Annabelle on the bottom of the ocean in a quick <laughs> That's scene. That's a bit of a stretch. I mean, James Wan between Saw, Insidious, Annabelle, and the Nun film, never count him out. Why shouldn't he do sea monsters? They turned the creature from the Black Lagoon into like a lovable fish man in Shape of Water. I want to see horrifying sea monsters with barnacles on them and weird pustules and little creatures coming off of their faces. I, bring it on. But let me let me ask you. Let me play devil's advocate for a second. I do. <laughs> I want to see it. Let me play devil, devil's advocate for a second here, though. What about, though, this thing that they've got this new direction, they've got this new tone they're trying to establish, they're trying to create an identity for their DC world. Well, something like that does sound appealing. <laughs> Doesn't it, though, kind of then go right back into the face of them saying, hey, we're reestablishing our <clears throat> whole identity for this universe. We're reestablishing all this. Doesn't that kind of fly in the face of that a little bit? Well, I mean, it depends. Like, like I don't think, I think you could make a movie, it, it, it might not even be tied. You don't even have to mention, I mean, maybe you mentioned for the world of Aquaman, but if you just made a horror movie called The Trench, you know, and, and that's all it was. And you didn't even necessarily, astute viewers would understand, okay, this takes place in the DC universe. But you could just do a standalone, balls to the wall, monster movie, creatures from the depths, and not even say it was part of the DC universe. Just that it was part of the DC universe. I mean, it's just matter of factly there. But I think a great, we need a great sea monster movie. But does it need to come from DC? And that's you know me. Well, I, I, I'm starting to get. I'm starting to warm up to this idea. I am, but just as Devil's Advocate, it seems to fly in the face of that. So let me ask you this point blank: Is that movie going to work? Not 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 work. Is it going to get made? Do you think the trench is actually going to be made into movie in, in the next four years? I would say the only reason I'm going to say I can see it happening is because of James Wan, right, and his track record at finding new directing talent to come on board and make these kinds of movies. I mean, It's hit and miss. A, I mean, a, like, Annabelle 1 was terrible. The Nun wasn't so good. But Annabelle 2 was really Annabelle good. Annabelle 2 was great. Was, yes. And, you know, uh, my friend uh, Adam Robitel directed Insidious 4, The Last Key. I mean, I could see he just did Escape Room. I could see, you know, I don't know if that's his thing to do a sea monster movie, but, but James Wan could bring the talent and make that movie something unique and fun. And he's right. We need a new monster. Our monsters are old. You know, we need we need a new, we need the new Pinhead or the new Freddy or the new Jason. And why can't the leader of the trench monsters be that creature? I'm just wondering I'm if it in, has man. to come out of DC. That's all I'm wondering. All right. What is next? I'm into it. I'm into it. I like the idea of a human becoming, like, right? seeing the backstory. I was just teasing. I actually think it sounds kind of juicy. 